hi friends uh, today's video i will be show you how to generate a discrete time signal on matlab so i will also show you how to make a different uh, samples uh, on your output signal so if you are new on my channel first you have to subscribe my channel thank you so let us start it so how which, uh, which code you will write here so first you have to write cl clear all and close all okay and then you have to define a analog time frequency which uh, which fre uh, the frequency of the original signal so i am representing the analog signal which is represented by f o f o equals to i am taking here uh 2000 okay and then we have to define a sampling frequency sampling frequency i am taking here 5000 okay and then uh, our ts would be equivalent to 1 upon ts okay oh sorry fs and then you have to define oh, which number of loops you want to oh, number of uh, uh, number of times you can say that number of uh, number of samples okay so number of samples would be represented by n n which is equals to uh, 0 to uh, the step size would be 1 and 0 to I am taking here 99 let's suppose so uh, it's all up to you what uh, which value you will take uh, which value you want to take here so you you will okay so now I am uh, writing here expression so I am taking here y equals to sine uh, 2 pi 2 pi and uh, we have a frequency which is divided by so discrete time frequency is always fo divided with fs okay and then we have uh, n because n is uh, here number of times uh, discrete time values of time okay and now we have to use a stamp a stamp is the basically uh, the you can say that uh, I am uh, replacing plot with a stamp okay and X comma sorry uh, so here we have n comma y because here I am because our x axis represented n and y axis represented y obviously amplitude basically so now x level x level x level represented time and y level y level amplitude amplitude okay and then uh, our title our title is uh, this discrete time discrete time signal okay and here uh, grid on okay now our uh, our code is completed now we have to run this
now uh, they are taking time now you will see here our sampling so this is your uh, this is your uh, it's all up to you which uh, frequency you will take uh, according to that frequency your uh, stamp signal or you can say that uh, discrete time signal will generate so i am if i am taking here 5000 samples then you will 50000 samples sorry so then you will see here my clear uh, clear sine wave you can see okay so this is your complete time, uh, discrete time signal thank you so much for watching